Hey guys, uh, today we're going to have a conversation about Pyrovale. I think I said that right for once, Pyrovale. What this does is it takes shaders and um, it, it takes them from Spurcross to GLS Lang. And that creates Spur V, which is more compatible with drivers for NVIDIA. Okay. So for right now, what we have, uh, it fixes the Monster Hunter World benchmark with the Vertex Explosions, and it completely fixes Final Fantasy Rebirth. Okay? Now, installing this thing is so straightforward, anyone can do it. Literally copy this, paste it in your terminal, you pretty much should be good to go, okay? Now, if you're one of those weird-ass people that are using flat packs, if you are, please stop. You're only hurting yourself. Stop it. Please. Thank you. And then you're going to set your path. So path config equals and pretty much where you have this. Okay. So um, for me, I compiled it from in here. So I basically did everything from in here. So there's Pyroveil and there's the hack and there's the rebirth. Okay. So that is my path config right there makes everything super easy. And the best part is, okay, if you need to update this, let me just maximize this for y'all. You could do CD, Pyroveil, so you can use tab to autocomplete. You can choose get pull. You could use get pull, it'll pull down all the latest stuff. And all you need to do is run this command right here, these, these last two commands, that's it once you have it done the first time. So this is updating it. And once you finish updating it, it'll go through its building process because it did update everything, right? So it was like, look at all this. So it updated that, 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 and that. There's a lot of stuff that it probably fixed in the process. Doing this takes a lot of work, right? You just can't create one of these out of the blue. If, if, if a game has a shader problem where it's not like doing its thing, then I don't know, report it in the issue section. Hopefully he'll be able to have the game and create everything that needs to be done. And then bam, there we go. Uh, it's installed, right? And that's it. And then the, the, you don't have to really change anything inside. So we're going to open up a version of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I'm going to hit play. I like the fact that it used the old school look, by the way. And, um, oh, right. I think I messed everything up. Let me actually stop it because I don't want to use wine staging. I want to use proton experimental. Please use proton experimental. Okay. Now here's the setup. So pyroveil one. Okay. Pyroveil underscore config. There's my config. And we're not going to need this. We're not going to need that. And then we hit play. Okay, I do have Mango HUD enabled, so we should be able to see the statistics, but it mainly, oh, bloody hell. It mainly tends to just stick to its own stuff. One second, please. I already have installed the component, VC run 2020. Okay, can we reinstall you? Like, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? I'm going to install you. It tends to get confuzzled and confused and forgets that it's doing a thing. Like, and then I have to go fix it. So, by the way, I do plan these videos ahead sometimes, but there's a problem with doing that. It doesn't always work. Okay. It just doesn't. All right. Not everything is going to work the way you think it does. Sometimes unplanned detours have to occur. Like this motherfucker. Okay. So we got it to work. It just took 7,000 years. Okay, so here we are. As you can see, I think it's F9 to reset things, or is it... I forget the button. There we go. I think we ended up resetting it. Alright, where the hell are we? I think we have to go this way. Oh, yeah. Here you go. You guys get to listen to the actual... I didn't unmute it. What the hell did I just click then? 
Desktop audio is assigned to... Oh, I need to enable the audio tracks for it to work. Now I understand. There we go. Now we should be good to go for music. So here's the performance, by the way. Uh, it usually stays locked to 120. Goes down for a bit to... Well, depending on if the shaders are loaded or the area is loaded. I had to switch prefixes so it doesn't have my shaders from before. Which is sad. Any perceived threats? You may notice that sometimes the OBS stream is glitching. Yeah, that's not supposed to happen, by the way. Uh, where's my controller? Because I like to fight with the controller. So, without this pyro veil thing, you would see nothing. You would see maybe these objects, the helicopters, none of these rocks, the ground, any of that. Okay. I hate the motion blur of this game. It's so awful looking. Get rid of you. Okay. So Pyro Veil really does help with uh, fixing games that NVIDIA can't get to at the moment. We're hoping a new driver is coming out soon because of the 57 DTI. Nice shot. Really? After that? Go away, Flame Trooper. Nice. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. That was me, but still, I'm gonna say it. Okay, now what do we need to do? How do we explain this farther? Well, let's go to a village. Villages are hard to run. Jesus. Bro's kind of weak. Not impressed. Do, do, do. Once you've lived Star Ocean, all these characters just seem like toddlers. Alright. This is where things get a little iffy. By iffy, I mean... We gotta wait a minute until the wattage goes back to normal. And OBS seems to be blinking for some reason. Yeah, it's just one of those very irritating bugs. Now, this bug only happens in the beginning of the game. I thought it was fixed. I guess it wasn't. Normal wattage of the game should be about 170. And usually to do this, we'd have to turn down some sort of graphic. So uh, let's turn this up to 66%. Let's go change text to resolution to medium, then back up to high. And... Nope, still borked. Weird. The entire village was completely on fire, and I had nothing but 120 steady FPS. It's better than not seeing nothing at all. Let's just put it in that type of way. So that's what Pyro Veil does. Uh, in most social circumstances, you'll end up getting good performance. But, uh, yeah, when you're at times where your wattage is below 100, when it should be 179, you tend to lose a little bit of performance here and there.
Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know about your thoughts and opinions in the comments, and I'll see you guys next time. And if you're new here, subscribe. It really helps. Like this video. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, and you can find the link for this in the description, of course.